Aisha and I'm back with another video. If it's your first time joining my channel, welcome and if you've been rocking with me, welcome back. So the footage you guys are about to see are snippets of my wonderful friend Jakari Harris's book launch release party for his new book that launched officially on September 15th. The book is entitled Lost and Found, Finding Success in the Search for Self. I'm so proud of him. Like y'all immensely proud I tell him this probably like five times a week that I'm so proud I want you guys to do me a favor and support this book this is his very first book the foreword is by attorney Benjamin Crump and it's just amazing like I've just dived into it probably what two days ago I'm just getting started and it's a great read so far it's sharing his story from being adopted going through the system and just literally finding himself through all of the things that life threw at him. And so I want you guys to share this book, um, purchase your own copy. You can go on Amazon. Amazon is the most convenient place. But if you're not an Amazon fan, you can also go on his website, jakariharris.com, to purchase your copy today. And I encourage you guys to share, 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 share. Um, just within like the first two days, he's already gotten within the top 50 in books about adoption on Amazon and we are on the road to get him to number one and y'all look I feel I feel a bestseller coming on okay like that's all I got to say about it I feel a bestseller coming on so yeah that is what this video is going to display is the celebration of the book launch amongst a few other things but yeah I wanted to go ahead and give this personal shout out and we're gonna go ahead and get into the video Doesn't she look wonderful? Give her another round of applause. This is also our former queen, the 64th. Yeah. Miss Mathilde yeah. Cookman yeah. University. Through a steadfast dedication to justice and service, renowned civil rights and personal injury attorney, Benjamin Crump has established himself as one of the nation's foremost lawyers and advocates for social justice. He has worked on some of the most high profile cases in the U.S., representing the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Jacob Blake, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Stephen Clark, as well as the residents of Flint, Michigan, who were affected by the poisoned water of the Flint River. He is the founder and principal owner of Ben Crump Law. Jakari and attorney Ben Crump crossed paths in 2014 when Jakari was given the opportunity to intern at Park and Crump Law Firm. A friend and mentor to Jakari, attorney Ben Crump thought it not robbery to step away from his work as a civil rights leader to write the forward for Jakari's book. I proudly present to some and introduce to others the world-renowned civil rights attorney, Ben Crump. A successful person is one who can live and walk in their God-given purpose without doubt or fear. Success, I have learned through experience, comes with a great deal of discipline and understanding that you must give your all in everything that you do. When I first started speaking, you know, I wasn't getting, you know, honorariums and having my flights and hotel accommodations. Um, I was only at my own expense. And I can remember my adopted mom and my biological mother said, why are you traveling? 
Oh, and they're not paying you, you know, in my undergrad. I said, because I have a story and I want people to know. You know, I was on scholarship with Dylan Cookman. I received, you know, uh, some scholarships from UNCL, so I had a little money to travel. Um, so anytime I, get, I had an opportunity and I could afford it, um, you know, I went to different cities and states that they asked me to speak at um, so they could hear my story. Um, and, you know, one of those um, adoption organizations out in Atlanta called Family First, they're purchasing 100 copies of my book because I went to it. Um, back in undergrad, it was very impactful. Um, so I'm grateful for that. So I would say I would have my own expense knowing that one day I would get a return on my investment. My message of hope mattered to people. It is what has got me this far and will take me all the way. Don't get me wrong, I used to think I would never say it. And I always tell people, it's hard for the mind when you think you can believe it. And that's what I do, I think things. And I, I write it down, I plan. I got a plan, A, B, C, D, E, N, up. Because it's gonna happen one way or the other. Um, so, and no one is too young to be successful. We are all successful in our own way. So if you have dreams, if you have goals, aspirations, if you want to travel the world, if you want to make a million dollars a day, you can do anything. If you want to write a book, because I show them that they got to write a book. So whatever you want to do, you can do it. Just put your mind to it and keep those good friends in your circle, those good families. You don't have those naysayers, you don't have those people that tell you no, no, no. But I don't believe in those. I believe in finding a way. Like, I'm not getting to know from compromise, we're gonna find a solution. And I'm solution oriented. <laughs> to help me work out too. Hey, my friend's event, hit the road back to campus so I can make my friend's birthday dinner. Then I got two birthday brunches before I hit the road again tomorrow. Welcome to my life. Oh, she's going with me. <laughs> oh, y'all, Tyra got braces. She's brace face shoddy. Wait till my and I don't know if y'all ever heard the song, Girl of My Dreams. <laughs> by Rot Wave, but there's a snippet in there that says, them big lips, that red skin. Oh, you know I love them braces, them big lips, that red skin. Oh. 
Hey, it yeah. looks like the girl of his dreams. No, okay, come on. Yeah. Cause I don't like this black. Yeah, like Look this at so me. Good. I'm a scary. <laughs> oh no. <girl. laughs> oh, my God. I don't think so. I think he's like when you just did that. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks like fierce. Okay, I'm full. Cool. Yeah, but she not used to that. Yeah, she ain't used to that. Yeah, she ain't used to that. The light looks ugly. Uh, oh my god, you can't see that now on my forehead. <gasps> what hit you to know? You sure Y'all, I was trying to you run sure? to the car <laughs> while it was pouring down rain and I when I opened up the car door, I wasn't all the way around it yet. <laughs> the top of the door nicked me on my forehead so hard. And I always laugh. That's what I get for always laughing at people when they bump their head. Because baby, my door gave it to me today. Put that clip of Jesus in that wall. Put that clip of Jesus in that wall. Oh, mom. <laughs> All right, y'all, I just want to check in. So now, <laughs> in another city, I'm in Ormond at, y'all know Victoria. Just got to Victoria's house. I'm trying to get my life in order right now. Um, Yeah. Came up here so I can hang out with her for a little bit. And she's not even here. But, yeah. It's my last night in Florida, and so I have officially been from Dallas to Tampa, Tampa to Tallahassee, Tallahassee back to Tampa, Tampa to Ormond, and I'm going from Ormond to Orlando tomorrow. Y'all pray for me. Running on no sleep. No sleep. So yeah, I'm going back to Dallas tomorrow before I have to pack again and leave to go to Chicago in a few days yeah so if i don't pick the camera up again i don't know but i will check in with y'all when i get back home or in the airport something like that yeah it's been a lot going on <laughs> follow me on instagram 